Hello everyone, Louise here and today's lesson is about can and can't which is talking about ability and I hope this is the correct translation. Please let me know if it isn't. Thank you very much. Okay, so as we said can and can't for ability. So look at the picture. We have the man here and his piano. And he says, I can play the piano. And under the picture, we have, he can play the piano. Now you notice there is no S. You remember when we studied verbs before, like the verb to like, or to go, or what have you. We say, I like, you like, he likes, she likes, it likes. And then we like, you like, they like. There's an S with he, she and it. Can is a modal verb and that means we don't put an S with he, she and it. So this might make it a little bit easier than other verbs. Have a look here in the box. We have three boxes, positive, negative and question. So positive, I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, they can. So I can speak English, you can speak Arabic, he can speak Turkish. She can, I don't know, speak French. It can, my cat can, catch a mouse. We can learn English on WhatsApp. You can speak Arabic altogether. And they can, in France, they can speak French. Okay, and you notice we just put in speak. You can you can speak Arabic. So we have the verb, the modal verb can, plus another verb. He can, John for example, he can dance. She can, Mary, Mary can grow flowers. So we could change the subject here to John. John can dance. Mary can grow flowers. It can, okay, we talked about my cat. It can catch a mouse. So we change that. My cat. My cat can catch a mouse. Super. We can we can talk on WhatsApp. You can oh, I have a good one. You can cook falafel. And they can. Who is they? We we'll say they in France. They can speak French. The people in France can speak French. So you see, all you need is the can, it doesn't change, and a different verb. Okie doke, if we're looking at the negative, the negative we say can't. Now I just been here, I can't, and this, I hope this is correct. You can't, or you cannot. Okay, cannot, we contract to count. You see? Okay, okay, so I can't, you can't, then he can't, she can't, it can't, we can't, you can't, they can't. And same as here. Yeah? You can't dance, I don't know. He can't catch a mouse. No, it can't catch a mouse. 
All right, so the negative is with B. Now the question, very straightforward. We change the place. So I can question, can I? You can question, can you? Can he? Can she? Can it? Can we? Can you? Can they? So can you speak? Can you speak Turkish? Yes, I can. Or, no, I can't. Can you dance? Yes, he can. No, he can. Can she cook? Can it? Fly, for example, my cat. Can it fly? No, it can't. Can we do this exercise? Yes, we can. Or, no, we can't. Can you teach me Arabic? Yes, you can. Or, no, you can't. And can they, I don't know, we talk about the people... I don't know, the people next door. Can they speak German? Yes, they can. No, they can't. Okay, so look at the pictures. So we just have some little pictograms here. The boy swimming. So these are things I can do. I can swim. I can ride a bike. I can sing. I can play tennis. And if we talk about John, for example, we change that. John, John can swim. Peter can ride a bike. Sheila can sing. And Mary can play tennis. So the subject will change, but the verb stays the same. Okie doke. In the second lot of pictures, we have the question. Can you ride a horse? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Or, no, I can't. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can you dance? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can you play the piano? Can you play the piano? Yes, I can. No, I can't. And the next one. Oops, I'm just going to get rid of this because I think it's messed up with my... There we go. Negative. The girl is skipping. I can't skip. She's skipping. Not to do it. I can't skip. The boy is skating on ice. I can't skate. This woman is cooking falafels. I can't cook falafels. I can't cook. The guitar. I can't play the guitar. So, that is the positive, the question, and the negative. And now let's have a look at the worksheet. Now, this worksheet I will send to you. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Anyway, I will send the worksheet to you on WhatsApp or on email. And for homework, you can have a look at this. You have asked Steve if he can do these things. So we have to ask the question. So you have swim, ski, play chess, run 10 kilometers, drive, ride a horse. So the question, can you swim? Can you swim? Number two, you ski. Can you ski? And the rest. There. Um, part two of that. 
you have to talk about you. So for me, for example, I would say, I can swim. I can swim. So I would write here, I can swim. Oof. Ski. I can't ski. I can't ski. So I would you to write those answers in here. And the last exercise, number two, you have to decide which is the best, best verb to use with can or can't. So complete the sentences using can or can't on one of these verbs. So come, find, hear, see, and speak. You have, I'm sorry, but we can't come to your party next Saturday. We know this is negative because, look, I'm sorry. It's bad news, so something negative. And you have to fill each one here with can and can't and a verb. Okay, good luck with that. As always, ask me a question if you don't understand. Ask me on WhatsApp or ask me on the Facebook. Okay, take care and I'll talk soon. Bye-bye.